You know, Kelly, last uh, we, we had a chance to come into the shop, and, and you've got a great shop there, and you certainly Thanks. promote your streamers. Mm -hmm. uh, you also tied a, a streamer for us uh, that, you're, that you're going to use uh, this, this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the thing that impresses me more than anything is the uniqueness of, of your style here at, uh, at the slide-in. Uh, you're not a, at all afraid to push the streamers, and for people uh, like myself, who doesn't do a lot of streamer fishing, uh, encourage us to, to go out and, and try streamers and find out uh, the quality of fish that can be hooked. We try to get people just to broaden their, you know, their horizon there with just getting, if they're not nymphing and they're not, or even if they are, you may want to just try for a bigger fish because you're, you're definitely going to get bigger fish on an average with a streamer. You're more versed if you know all types of fishing. And so we just encourage them to try it. Maybe, you know, it's always the same story. It's, well, nothing was happened. So I put on a streamer and man, I get the biggest fish in my life. And it's like, well, why don't you try it more often, you know? And it's so proactive. You're just constantly moving. You know, there's no, there's no downtime with a streamer. So it's really fun. Well, well you, you, one of the things you mentioned to me too that I thought was important, your streamers are not weighted. No. If you expect a natural presentation, and if a person can put it in front of a fish, uh, they're, they're more apt to, instead of having it drop right in front of them, mm -hmm. it swims past them. For right. all of us, I think we're thinking to ourselves, gee, I have to have a bigger rod, mm -hmm. uh, I have to uh, maybe be a little better caster, uh, intimidation of a big fly coming by your head, you know, all of those things. Uh, I run six weights with a full sinking line, and I let, and that scares a lot of people. It takes a little getting used to. Most people find that with a sinking line, they cast it easier than they do a floater, uh, especially for young anglers or, or beginning anglers. They feel the line behind them, so they load it much quicker and much easier. The reason I use a sinking line is because I want, like you said, I don't weight my flies, and I'm trying to keep the fly above the fish's head. Basically, I want to see it all happen. That's one of the big things why I like streamers. I, I would love to see the fish come up. And you'll get a lot of fish come up and not, it's a territorial thing. They're not really eating it for food. They're not, they're coming up just to say, get out of my space. And I'm gonna be fishing deep, or not deep. I hardly ever fish more than 12, 18 inches. And just try to elicit the strike, go really fast. And that's why it's so much repetitive casting. You just, you hit it and you move, you hit it and you move. So you're not sitting in one spot just doing the same thing over. So the first thing I'd show you is I'm running the dropper. I've got a little Prince Albert back here, just 18 inches behind my fly, just because we want to have a fish. So I'm, I'm doubling up my chances here. Frequently, when you get that territorial rise, they'll come up and just say, you know, they're just trying to scare the fly off is what they're doing. And then frequently, they'll just drill the little thing behind it. it it's not really critical what it is. It's just a flashy thing. So I'm going to drop that on there behind it. I have really basic leaders. Uh, very complex. I've got 12 inches of 20 pound and 12 or 18 inches of 12 pound. Uh, a full grown uh, brown uh, weighing five pounds or more uh, is going to be able to, to devour two or three <laughs> full size rainbows a day. Oh, sure. Is that true? Oh yeah. They'll eat half their body length as often as they can. So a fish, a five pound fish, he'll eat the fish we're fishing for. Good. I prefer to come cross current, which you can see I'm doing. You can see how fast I cast, I go through it. If I make two casts through a run, you've got two options. You can either keep moving or change fly colors. I think color on a streamer is the most critical aspect of all of it. I'm certain they'll eat this fly here because I've caught plenty of fish on yellow cougars. If I was really concerned about getting the angler into an, a fish, I would switch every five minutes. I'd try to find the fly color that the fish is after. I start with a bright fly on a bright day. For example, I would just start with white and then I do total contrast. I go from white to black. And then if that doesn't work, I go to cream, which is the, the light end of the, the neutral colors. And then I'd go to olive. And if none of that's worked, then I go to straight yellow or chartreuse. And at that point, I pretty much can figure out what fly color they're on. If none of that works, then I go to different styles of flies and maybe change my retrieve slightly. Now this is a nice little brownie. Well, everything that we said is 
just go through here in the last few minutes, uh, but it's just a real nice fish along the cold bank. He's fighting stronger than his size. Nice little brown trout. Well, he wasn't the trophy we were looking for, but he will take them. <laughs>